guys, welcome back to another video, and today we have the season finale, event number 10 of season 2 of the Monster Jam Points competition. So coming into this event, there are only 4 trucks remaining that still mathematically have a chance at the championship. So before I show all of the races up close, let's take a look at the championship 4 competitors and who they will be taking on here in round number 1. So uh, right now, first in the points is the Training Trucks Earthshaker, if I can find him. Aha, uh -huh, here he is right here. So in round one, the points leader, Training Trucks Earthshaker, will be taking on the Creature Son of a Digger. Now Earthshaker, which is driven by Chase Bantz, he has 77 points, and he is the points leader. But right now, there's actually a tie for the points lead. So technically in first as well, but still is uh, second on the actual list that I made, is the Ride Truck Grave Digger, which is right here. That is being driven by Supper Lars Billy. He will be taking on Sparkle Smash. So since they are tied for the points lead, the Earthshaker Training Truck and Grave Digger Ride Truck, they both are tied for the points lead with 77 points. And then in third place right now, just two points behind them, we have Whiplash with 75 points. The driver is Doomsday5155, and he will be taking on Batman in just the fifth race here in round number one. So those three right now have the best chance at winning the championship, and the other truck that still mathematically has a chance, but it is a long shot, is fourth place, the training truck zombie. He is he right now has 71 points, so he is six points uh, behind the points lead right now, like I said, with 71. Uh, the driver is Monster Jams times 10, and he will be taking on Nomad Avenger in round number one. So he's six points back. He's going to have to have a really good day and hope that the other three championship competitors have bad days. But those are the four championship competitors that still mathematically have a chance because I believe fifth place in the points is Alien Invasion Ice. Right here, he's taking on Fire Horsepower, but he does not mathematically have a chance. So it's just those four. Now let's take a look at the races now that we're almost two and a half minutes into this video. So just take a look for who you're racing. Um, I'm sure you guys know which truck you're in by now because this is event number 10, the final event. But just in case you don't, for whatever reason, um, you can go back and watch the Field of Trucks video that I'm pretty sure I made like over two months ago. Um, so yeah, here's the second to last line. After this, I will uh, show the track and everything. So of course, if you lose in round one, you will only get one point. So if Whiplash or uh, Zombie Training Truck lose in round one, they will officially be eliminated since they are behind right now, the uh, two points leaders. But anyways, round number one is going to end off with Stone Crusher and the Ice Bakugan Dragonoid. Now, sorry if you guys saw my phone charger in that clip a lot. It kept getting in the way because my phone's almost dead and I have it plugged in. But anyways, let's take a look at the track. It's the same as always. We have the Show Off Showdown ramp right here. And then um, all the trucks, of course, will go down here. Now, this line at the end with my laptop, the Max D 5-pack, and the Fire and Ice 5-pack, if both trucks hit this line, this is the same rule that it's been all season, but in case you guys haven't seen, um, if both trucks hit this line, whoever hits it first uh, will advance. And if they hit it at the same time, we will do a rerun if it's too close to call. Um, so yeah, like I said before, you get one point for losing in round number one, and at the end of this video, I will go over the uh, final point standing for the entire season, so if you guys get eliminated and you don't want to keep watching, you can at least uh, skip to like the last two or three minutes to uh, check out the point standings, and yeah, this intro was way longer than I expected, almost four minutes now, so without further ado, we are going to kick off round number one of the season two finale with the overcast blue thunder and the nitro neons pirate's curse. So the season finale of season two is underway. And the first winner is going to be the overcast blue thunder. Next up, we've got bounty hunter taking on iron outlaw. And Iron Outlaw is going to take the win. What a finish. He will defeat Bounty Hunter. Next up, we have Aftershock taking on Scooby-Doo. And Scooby-Doo is going to take the win over Aftershock. Next up, we have Queen Bee taking on your Event 9 runner-up, Jurassic Attack. And it's going to be Jurassic Attack taking the win over Queen Bee. Next up, we have Batman taking on your third place championship competitor, Doomsday5155 and Whiplash. Since he is currently two points behind the points lead, if he loses this race, he will be eliminated from championship contention. Let's see if he can keep his hopes alive. Yes, he will. Batman has a terrible run. He will be eliminated Whiplash is moving on to round two. Next up, we have the World Finals 19 Black Max D taking on Yeti. And Max D has a terrible run. I don't think he fell off the side, though. He just rolled over. Yeti will take the win. Next up, we have Isol Torloco taking on Slinger. 
and Slinger hit the line first. He will get the win. Next up, we have Zombie Mohawk Warrior taking on Ice Dragon. And it's going to be Dragon taking the win. Next up, we have the Creature, Son of a Digger, taking on your points leader, Training Trucks Earthshaker. Let's see who's going to get it. It is going to be Earthshaker with no problem. Next up, we have the Mystery Machine taking on the Inverse Alien Invasion. It's going to be the Inverse Alien Invasion. Next up, we have a Fire and Ice battle between Fire Pirate's Curse and Ice Monster Mutt. And Pirate's Curse is going to block Monster Mutt for the win. Next up, we have Monster Mutt Dalmatian taking on Fire Zombie. And Zombie hit it first. He will take the win. Next up, we have El Toro Loco taking on Horsepower. And wow, El Toro Loco is going to block Horsepower on the ramp. And he will take the win. Next up, we have Brodozer taking on the Ice Monster Mutt Dalmatian. And Ice Dalmatian will take the win over Brodozer. Next up, we have Ice Blue Thunder taking on the Gold Bakugan Dragonoid. And... Ooh, that was really close. Let me go back and take a look at the clip. All right, so looking at the clip, that race was way too close to call, so we're going to switch up the lanes and we're going to do a rerun. And this time it's going to be the Gold Bakugan Dragonoid. Next up, we have a Battle of the Fire Trucks. We have Son of a Digger taking on Mohawk Warrior. And it's going to be Mohawk Warrior taking the win over Son of a Digger. Next up, we have your fourth place championship competitor, the Training Truck Zombie. He is taking on Nomad Avenger. A loss here will eliminate Zombie's championship hopes. Let's see if he can keep them alive. He will keep them alive! Nomad Avenger tried to spin him out at the end, but Zombie will hang on to take the win. Next up, we have Stinger Unleashed taking on the Ice Earthshaker. And it's going to be Stinger Unleashed taking the win over the Ice Earthshaker. So coming into this event, there were three trucks that have never gotten a win in round one this entire season. Wonder Woman is one of those trucks. The other two are Wildfire and Overcast Zombie. Let's see if Wonder Woman can get it here. He takes on World Finals 21. And he will not take the win. It's going to go to World Finals 21. So that means in all 10 events, Wonder Woman lost in round one. Next up, we have Bad News Travels Fast taking on the Inverse Higher Education. And it's going to go to Bad News Travels Fast. He goes on top of the laptop. Next up, we have a Fire and Ice battle between Fire Monster Mutt Husky and Ice Soldier Fortune. And it's going to go to Ice Soldier Fortune. Next up, we have the Elemental Trucks Gravedigger taking on the second of three trucks that have never won in round number one this season, Overcast Zombie. And he is going to change that here. Overcast Zombie will eliminate the Elemental Trucks Gravedigger. Next up, we have Soldier Fortune taking on the final truck that has never won in round one, Wildfire. And, oh, did Wildfire take the win? I think he did. Soldier Fortune turned at the end. And yes, just barely, Wildfire will take the win. So that means the only truck this season that never got a win in round one was Wonder Woman. Next up, we have Mohawk Warrior taking on Cyclops. And Cyclops will take the win. Next up, we have Ride Truck Gravedigger, who is tied for the points lead. But since the Earthshaker training truck has already moved on to round number two, he must win this race or else he will be eliminated from championship contention. He takes on Sparkle Smash. Let's see if he's going to get it. He will take the win, so all four championship competitors are into round number two. Next up, we have Ice Northern Nightmare taking on Ice Cream Man. And it's going to be Ice Northern Nightmare. Next up, we have Blue Crustacean taking on Avenger. And Avenger will take the win. Next up, we have Zombie Pirate's Curse taking on Time Flies. And the win is going to go to the Zombie Pirate's Curse. Next up, we have Fire Megalodon taking on the Zombie Northern Nightmare. And Zombie Northern Nightmare will take the win over Fire Megalodon. Next up, we have Monster Mutt Poodle taking on the Fire Soldier Fortune Black Ops. And Black Ops will take the win over Monster Mutt Poodle. Next up, we have Monster Mutt Husky taking on the Red Bakugan Dragonoid. And it's going to be Monster Mutt Husky. Next up, we have Fire Max D taking on Octonator. It is going to be Fire Max D. Next up, we have the third Fire Nice battle of round number one. We have Ice Alien Invasion taking on Fire Horsepower. It is going to be Alien Invasion. He just barely hit the line first. Next up, we have Sasquatch taking on Overcast Dragon. 
And Sasquatch rolls over. That will give the win to the Overcast Dragon. Next up, we have Zombie Megalodon taking on Pirate's Curse. And Pirate's Curse will take the win. Next up, we have Ice Octonator taking on the Training Trucks El Toro Loco. El Toro Loco gets the comeback win. He did hit the line first. Next up, we have Fire Monster Mutt Rottweiler taking on Wildflower. And Rottweiler has a terrible run. That's going to give the win to Wildflower. Next up, we have Inverse Brodozer taking on Big Kahuna. Ooh, Brodozer hit the line first. He will take the win. Next up, we have Fire Whiplash taking on Nitro Neon's Max D. Ooh, that is an extremely close race. Let's go straight down to see who got it. Ooh, that is, that is just too close to call. We're going to do a rerun. All right, we have switched up the lanes. Here goes the rerun. This time it's going to be Max D. Next up, we have the final race of round number one, which is Stone Crusher taking on the Ice Bakugan Dragonoid. And Stone Crusher rolls over a ton. Ice Dragonoid will take the win. So here is a look at all of the trucks that lost in round number one, which means they will get a total of one point for this event to add on to their total for the entire season. And now it is time for round number two, there are still 40 trucks remaining. If you lose in this round, you will get three points for this event. Let's very quickly take a closer look at the championship competitors. So Whiplash is taking on Yeti in the third race. Training Trucks Earthshaker is taking on Inverse Alien Invasion in the fifth race. Then later on in the round, the Training Truck Zombie will take on Stinger Unleashed. And then the Ride Truck Gravedigger will take on the Ice Northern Nightmare. So without further ado, we're going to kick off round number two with Overcast Blue Thunder taking on Iron Outlaw. So round number two is underway. And the first winner, oh, I don't know who got that. I'm going to go back and take a look at the clip. All right, so looking back at that clip, that race was just way too close to call. So we have switched up the lanes, and here goes the rerun. This time it's going to be Overcast Blue Thunder. Next up, we have Scooby-Doo taking on Jurassic Attack. And it's going to be Scooby-Doo. Next up, we have Whiplash, who must win this race to keep his championship hopes alive. He's taking on Yeti. And he will take the win, so Whiplash, champ his championship hopes are still alive. Next up, we have Slinger taking on Ice Dragon. It is going to be Slinger. He obviously hit the line first. Next up, we have Training Trucks Earthshaker, your points leader, taking on Inverse Alien Invasion, which is a fast truck. Let's see if Earthshaker can hang on to win. Yes, I think. I think he did. Let me go take a look. Wow, looking at the clip, that was just about as close as it could possibly get. Let me put a slow motion replay in really quickly. Take a look at the replay, guys. So as you guys saw there, by literally a centimeter probably, Earthshaker did take the win, so his championship hopes are still alive. Now normally, like 9 times out of 10 I would say, if this line wasn't here, whoever hits it first would probably take the win anyways if they continued to race and it wasn't there. But that time, I honestly think if that line wasn't there, Alien Invasion probably would have won. So Earthshaker definitely lucked out there. He will take the win and keep his hopes alive. Next up, we have a battle of two fire trucks, Pirate's Curse taking on Zombie. Zombie will take the win. Next up, we have El Toro Loco taking on the Ice Monster Mutt Dalmatian. And El Toro Loco has a terrible run. That will give the win to the Ice Dalmatian. Next up, we have the Gold Bakugan Dragonoid taking on the Fire Mohawk Warrior. It's going to be an extremely close race, but Mohawk Warrior will take the win. So Training Truck Zombie came into this point six points behind first place. And since he's six points behind, he's got to start to hope that his championship competitors uh, start to lose soon. But first, he has to be focused on himself. He's taking on Stinger Unleashed. A loss here would eliminate Zombie. Let's see if he can take the win. He will take the win. He blocks Stinger Unleashed for the win. Next up, we have World Finals 21 taking on Bad News Travels Fast. It's going to be... Oh, that is extremely close. Oh, man. If we go straight down, it looks like by the tip of the tire, Bad News Travels Fast is going to get it. Next up, we have Ice Soldier Fortune taking on Overcast Zombie. It's going to be Overcast Zombie taking the win over Ice Soldier Fortune. Next up, we have Wildfire taking on Cyclops. 
And Wildfire rolls over. Looks like his tire locked up there. That's going to give the win to Cyclops. Next up, Ride Truck Gravedigger, who's tied with Earthshaker, is taking on Ice Northern Nightmare. If Ride Truck Gravedigger loses, since Earthshaker already advanced, that would eliminate Gravedigger. Let's see if he can take the win. Oh my goodness. Ride Truck Gravedigger's championship hopes are still alive. All four competitors are into round three. Next up, we have Avenger taking on Zombie Pirate's Curse. Oh, I think it's Avenger, but let me go take a All look. Right, so looking at the clip, that was extremely close, but just barely Avenger did take the win. If you don't believe me, you can go back and watch it for yourselves, and you can even slow down the, the playback speed of the video. Avenger did just barely take the win over Zombie Pirate's Curse. Next up, we have Zombie Northern Nightmare taking on Fire Soldier Fortune Black Ops. Oh, I don't know who got it. Let me go back and take a look. So that race was just way too close to call, so we have switched up the lanes, and we're going to do a rerun. And this time, it is going to be Fire Soldier Fortune Black Ops. Next up, we have Monster Mutt Husky taking on Fire Max D. Max D is going to get it. Next up, we have Ice Alien Invasion taking on Overcast Dragon. Oh, I don't know who got that one either. Let me go take a look. So that was just another race that was just way too close to call. So we're going to do another rerun. We have switched up the lanes. Let's see who's going to get it. This time it's going to be Dragon Overcast. What an upset. Next up, we have Pirate's Curse taking on Training Trucks El Toro Loco. Oh, Pirate's Curse did hit it first. He will take the win. Next up, we have Wildflower taking on Inverse Brodozer. And Brodozer is going to take the win. Next up is the final race of round number two, Nitro Neon's Max D taking on the Ice Bakugan Dragonoid. And it's going to be Max D taking the win. So here's a look at all of the trucks that got eliminated in round number two, which means they will get a total of three points for this event. And now it is time for round number three. I am already over 17 minutes into this video. This has definitely been a long one, and it's probably going to be the longest one yet. So let's take a quick look at where the championship competitors are and who they're taking on in round number three. So all four of them are still in. Whiplash is taking on Slinger. Training Trucks Earthshaker is taking on Fire Zombie. Training Truck Zombie is taking on Bad News Travels Fast. And Ride Truck Gravedigger is taking on Avenger. So by the way, if you lose in this round, you will get five points. And we're going to kick off round number three with two fast trucks, Overcast Blue Thunder, taking on Scooby-Doo. So round number three is underway. And the first winner, I think it's Blue Thunder. Let me go take a look. All right, so looking back at the clip, Blue Thunder did just barely take the win. Like I always say, if you guys don't believe me, you can go back and watch it for yourselves and slow down the video. Blue Thunder did hit the line first, so he will advance. Next up, we have Whiplash taking on Slinger. Let's see if Whiplash can keep his hopes alive. He will not! Whiplash has flipped over and Doomsday 5155 in Whiplash. He had an amazing season, but his championship hopes are done because he was two points behind the points leader. And since both of the points leaders right now are still in, that means his championship hopes are officially gone. So sorry to Doomsday 5155. You did amazing this season. You still could even get third in the points, but you will not win the championship. Slinger moves on. Next up, we have your points leader, Training Trucks Earthshaker, taking on Fire Zombie. I think Zombie got it. Let me go take a look. So as you guys saw right there in that slow motion replay, Fire Zombie did take the win. So your points leader, Training Trucks Earthshaker, his championship hopes are not gone. He needs the Ride Truck Gravedigger to also lose in this round since they were tied for the points lead. But if Ride Truck Gravedigger moves on, then Earthshaker will be eliminated. It all depends on the Ride Truck Gravedigger. Now, if they both lose in this round, they will tie. And if they end up tying for the championship, I don't know what we'll do. Maybe I'll do like a race between those two trucks. I don't know. But Earthshaker is eliminated for now. And his championship hopes are still alive for now, I should say. Zombie is moving on. Next up, we have a fire and ice battle between Ice Monster Mutt Dalmatian and Fire Mohawk Warrior. Ice Dalmatian hit it first, just barely. He will take the win. Next up, we have Training Truck Zombie taking on Bad News Travels Fast. Now, since Earthshaker lost, that is really good for Zombie. He is still six points behind, though. Let's see if he can take the win here. If he loses, he will be eliminated from championship contention. 
and he cuts bad news travels fast off but it's gonna count bad news travels fast ends up having a terrible run because zombie cut him off but he will take the win next up we have overcast zombie taking on cyclops Cyclops will take the win. So next up, we have the race that we have all been waiting for. We have Ride Truck Gravedigger taking on Avenger. So if Gravedigger wins this race, that would eliminate the Training Truck Earthshakers Championship hopes. And the only two trucks that would still have a shot at the championship would be the Ride Truck Gravedigger, as well as Training Truck Zombie would still be a long shot. But Avenger is not a slow truck by any means. That truck is actually pretty fast. So this is going to be a huge race. The season is pretty much going to be defined in this race. So let's see who is going to get it. This race is huge. It is going to be Gravedigger. Just barely by the slightest bit. The ride truck Gravedigger hit the line first. He will eliminate Avenger. And he will also eliminate Training Truck Earthshaker's Championship Hopes. Earthshaker had an amazing season. He still has a chance to even get second in the points, depending on what happens with Zombie Training Truck. But Chase Bance and the ride, or sorry, the Training Truck's Earthshaker, unfortunately, has been eliminated from championship contention. So sorry, man, but maybe you can still get second. Avenger has been eliminated. Gravedigger Ride Truck will move on. Next up, we have a battle of two fire trucks. We have Soldier Fortune Black Ops taking on Max D. And Max D hit the line first, just barely, so he will take the win. Next up, we have Overcast Dragon taking on Pirate's Curse. And it's going to be Pirate's Curse with the comeback win. So next up, we have the final race of round number three, which is going to be Inverse Brodozer taking on Nitro Neon's Max D. And wow, they both flip over and they both land it, and Brodozer will take the win. So here is a look at all of the trucks that lost in round number three, which means they will get a total of five points for this event. Two of your championship competitors right here, Earthshaker Training Truck and Whiplash. Both of them were eliminated here in round number three, and their championship hopes are gone. And now it is time for round number four. We are down to ten trucks, so first of all, how this round is going to work is just like how it's worked in every event with ten trucks. Of course, that is an odd number. Well, ten is an even number, but it would go down to five, and five is an odd number. So out of the five losers, whichever two losers have the best run will face off in the fast loser race to get the sixth spot in round number five. And the four trucks that end up getting eliminated in this round will get a total of seven points. Um, so yeah, the only two championship competitors left are Zombie Training Truck and Gravedigger Ride Truck. Zombie is still six points behind Gravedigger, so Zombie's got to hope that Gravedigger can lose here soon. And he actually takes on Cyclops this round, and Cyclops is a very fast truck. So um, next round, I will also go over the field of trucks, and that's pretty much it. So without further ado, we are going to kick off round number four with Overcast Blue Thunder taking on Slinger. So round number four is underway. <laughs> And the first winner is Overcast Blue Thunder. Next up, we have a Fire and Ice battle between Fire Zombie and Ice Monster Mutt Dalmatian. And they both go in different directions. I know they both weren't in the camera angle there, but Zombie did hit the line. Ice Dalmatian did not hit anything, so Ice Dalmatian will be eliminated and Zombie moves on. Next up, we have the Training Truck Zombie taking on Cyclops. Let's see if Zombie can keep his hopes alive. He could still be in the fast loser race, though, if he loses and has a good run, but let's see what happens. He hit the line first. He will eliminate Cyclops, although Cyclops is probably going to be in the fast loser race, but Zombie moves on. So next up, we have Ride Truck Gravedigger. The championship is in his hands right now. Can Fire Max D eliminate him, though, and keep Zombie's hopes alive? Let's see what happens. It's going to be Max D, but Gravedigger will probably be in the fast loser race. Next up, we have the final race of round number four until the fast loser race. We have Pirate's Curse taking on Inverse Brodozer. Oh, I don't know who got that. Let me go back and take a look. So that race was just way too close to call, so we have switched up the lanes. Here goes the rerun. This time it is Brodozer. So these five trucks have moved on to round number five, and now it is time for the fast loser race. So basically, this is how it's going to work. So these five trucks all lost. Now three of them hit the laptop. The two that did not were Ice Monster Mutt Dalmatian and Slinger. So they are eliminated. They get seven points for this event. So these three trucks right here, the other three losers, did all hit the laptop. So basically, how this is going to work is Cyclops will be locked in to the Fast Loser Race. And then we're going to race Pirate's Curse and Ride Truck Gravedigger. The winner of that will take on Cyclops for the Fast Loser. The loser will get 7 points, and the loser of this race here will get 7 points as well. So we're going to have Pirate's Curse 
Take on Ride Truck Gravedigger first. So who is going to take on Cyclops in the Fast Loser Race? It's going to be Gravedigger. So this is another season-defining moment here. We have Cyclops and Ride Truck Gravedigger in the Fast Loser Race. The winner will get the sixth and final spot into round number five. The loser will get seven points. If Gravedigger loses here, Zombie's hopes are still very much alive. But if he wins, it's going to be tough for Cyclops. Or sorry, for Zombie, I mean. Let's see who's going to get it. Cyclops hit the cars. I'm going to do a rerun to be fair. So I just went back and watched that replay over and over again. And it seems like even if Cyclops didn't hit the cars, Gravedigger probably would have won. So what we're going to do here is a best two out of three. Gravedigger has won. Cyclops, if he wants to advance, has to win back-to-back -back races. Ooh, who got that one? Let me go take a look. That race was just way too close to call, so we have switched up the lanes. It is still one to nothing, Gravedigger. Let's see who's going to win this time. Cyclops is eliminated. That's going to hurt Training Truck Zombie a lot. Gravedigger moves on. So these four trucks have been eliminated, which means they will get a total of seven points for this event. So this is what it all comes down to. Here are these six trucks remaining in round number five. Now, before I get into explaining anything, I'm going to quickly go over the field of trucks. So inside of the Overcast Blue Thunder, we have Mega Monster Jam 97A. Inside of Fire Zombie, we have Blakester Miniman. Inside of Training Truck Zombie, we have Monster Jams Times 10. Inside of Fire Max D, we have Tyler Digger 2020 Productions. Inside of Inverse Brodozer, we have Monster Jam Fanatic. And inside of the Ride Truck Grave Digger, we have Supper Lars Billy. So basically, this round is going to work pretty similarly to the last round. Because of course, with six trucks, that would go down to three. And then out of the three losers, whichever two have the best run, will face off in the Fast Loser Race. So that means, out of these six trucks... Only two of these trucks will end up getting eliminated in this round. They will get nine points. So basically, this is what's going to have to happen. If Gravedigger advances in this round, he will be the Season 2 champion because Zombie coming in is six points behind Gravedigger. So if Zombie goes on to win the whole event, he would get 15 points. If Gravedigger loses here, he would get nine. They would tie for the championship. I don't know what we would do for the tiebreaker. Um, but yeah, so Zombie pretty much has to win this event at this point. If he doesn't, Gravedigger is the champion. And if Gravedigger advances in this round, he'll be the champion anyways. So um, yeah, this is what it all comes down to. It's looking like Gravedigger is going to be the champion. But Zombie does still have slight, a slight, slight hope. Let's see what's going to happen though. We're going to kick things off with Overcast Blue Thunder taking on Fire Zombie. So who is going to be the first person to advance to the semifinals? <laughs> It is going to be Overcast Blue Thunder. Next up, we have Training Truck Zombie taking on Fire Max D. So Max D hit the line first, but Zombie is guaranteed to be in the Fast Loser race. Next up, we have another huge race. We have Inverse Brodozer and Ride Truck Gravedigger. Let's see who's going to get it. It's going to be Brodozer, but both of the losers or both of the championship contending losers went farther than Fire Zombie did. So Fire Zombie is going to be eliminated and get nine points. Inverse Brodozer is in the semifinals, along with Overcast Blue Thunder and Fire Max D, which means that this is the fast loser race. Oh boy. Oh my goodness. Can you believe it? This is the fast loser race. Supper Lars Billy and Ride Truck Gravedigger and Monster Jams Times 10 and the Training Truck Zombie. If Gravedigger wins this race, he is the Season 2 champion. If Zombie wins this race, he only has to win two more, the semifinals and championship race, and then these two trucks would actually tie for the championship. So if Gravedigger wins this race, like I said, he's the Season 2 champion. Let's see what's going to happen. This is huge. Gravedigger hit it first. He has eliminated Training Truck Zombie, and your Season 2 champion of the Monster Jam Points competition is going to be Supper Lars Billy in the Ride Truck Gravedigger. Congratulations, man. You still got some work to do in this event. You're into the semifinals, but you, no matter what happens, have won the championship. He hit the line first, and Monster Jam's times 10. He dominated the beginning of the season so much, but starting in, I think, event number 6, he started to kind of fall off. And then coming into this event, he was a six-point underdog. He needed to win this event pretty much, or get close to it. And since Gravedigger made it this far, he had to win that race, and it just did not happen. So, so sorry to Monster Jams times 10, but you have nothing to be upset about. You're still going to be 
top four in points, possibly even third out of 80 trucks. So that is really, really good. Um, so yeah, nothing to be upset about. You get nine points for this event as well as uh, Fire Zombie. So the two zombies get nine points. Gravedigger is in the semi. So now we are down to the semifinals of Monster Jam Points Competition, Season 2, Event Number 10. So let's go over the field of trucks. Inside of Overcast Blue Thunder, we have Mega Monster Jam 97A. Inside of Fire Max D, we have Tyler Digger 2020 Productions. Inside of Inverse Brodozer, we have Monster Jam Fanatic. And inside of the Season 2 Champion, Ride Truck Gravedigger, we have Supper Lars Billy. So if you lose in this round, you will get 11 points. Let's see who's going to go to the championship race. Mega Monster Jam 97A or Tyler Digger 2020 Productions. So who is going to move on to the championship race? It's going to be Fire Max D. He hit the line first. So Overcast Blue Thunder has been eliminated. He will get 11 points for this event. And Fire Max D is in the championship race. So who is going to meet Fire Max D in the championship race? Is it going to be Inverse Brodozer or Ride Truck Grave Digger? It is going to be Gravedigger! Oh my goodness, if Brodozer had saved that, he probably would have won the race, but he flips over, and he is eliminated. He will get 11 points for this event, just like Overcast Blue Thunder, and Gravedigger is in the championship race. So now we are down to the championship race of Monster Jam Points Competition Season 2, Event Number 10. So the outcome of this race really does not affect anything, because no matter if Ride Truck Gravedigger wins or loses, he is still the Season 2 champion. So the winner of this race gets 15 points, the loser gets 13 Let's see who's going to get it. Your winner of Monster Jam Points Competition Season 2, event number 10, is going to be none other than... Max D rolls over. He will get eliminated and get 13 points. And the winner is Supper Lars Billy and the Ride Truck Gravedigger. So out of 10 events, I'm pretty sure this is the third event he won out of 10. So to win three events out of a 10-event season is pretty incredible. And I'm pretty sure that does deserve the championship, which he got it. I'm going to go total up the points here in a minute uh, to see the official final point standings. But nonetheless, uh, it's time to give credit to Ride Truck Gravedigger. This is a very, very fast truck. Definitely a truck to look out for in Sign Up Series now because Sign Up Series is going to return. Now that I am done with the points competition, so um, yeah, Grave Digger Ride Truck is your season two champion. So congratulations to Supper Lars Billy, uh, the season one champion two years ago was Monster Jam Fanatic and X Ray Prowler, and now season two is Supper Lars Billy and the Ride Truck Grave Digger. So like I said, I'm gonna go total up the current point standings or the official point standings right now, and I will be right back to show you guys. So here is a look at the official point standings for Season 2 of the Monster Jam Points Competition. So as you guys can see, your champion is Supper Lars Billy in the Ride Truck Grave Digger with 92 points. So congratulations, man. Like I said before, that truck has won 3 out of 10 events this season. So definitely a well-deserved championship and congratulations on winning. So... Um, yeah, as you guys can see, your runner-up is going to be Chase Bantz and the Training Trucks Earthshaker with 82 points. Then we have a tie for third between Training Trucks Zombie and Whiplash with uh, 80 points. The drivers there are Monster Jams times 10 and Doomsday 5155. And then um, below them, rounding out your top five, literally 20 points behind them is Mega Monster Jam 97A and the Overcast Blue Thunder with 60. So that is your top five this season. Now the final five that I will uh, say out loud are 6 through 10, rounding out the top 10 and then I will show uh, the rest all the way down to number 80 so uh, sixth place was Monster Jam 2019 and the Ice Alien Invasion with 56 points then seventh and eighth we actually have a tie uh, between Dolores Simmons and Cyclops and Aaron Ray and Scooby-Doo with 54 points uh, ninth place this season is Monster Jam Firestorm and the Ice Monster Mutt Dalmatian with 50 points. And rounding out your top 10 is going to be Blakester Miniman and the Fire Zombie with 48 points. So that was the top 10 this season. Congratulations to all of those guys because getting in the top 10 out of 80 trucks is really, really impressive. So, um, yeah, now here's the rest of the standings, 11 through 80. So uh, just look for your name and then your truck and you can see how many points you guys got this year or this season and um, also what uh, position you are in like what place obviously the number on the left hand side is what place you got out of 80 so right there in 40th we have fire whiplash so that is like the top half so now 41st through 80th is uh, the bottom half of the field so like I said just look for your name and your truck and you can see uh, what place you got and how many points you got as well so um, there's only one truck this season that did not get a single victory in round number one when everything was said and done 
And as you guys can see at the way bottom, that was the life of Ethan Rupel in Wonder Woman with 10 points. That is the only truck to never get a round one victory. He lost in round one every single time, so I kind of feel bad, but I mean, hey, at least you got noticed for it, so um... Yeah, that is pretty much going to do it for this season. This video was extremely long. I think other than my old live streams that I used to do, this may even be the longest video on my channel. I'm not really sure. So if you guys actually watched this entire video, I really do appreciate it. And uh, yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys are new to my channel, make sure you guys subscribe. I am still on the road to uh, 2,200 subscribers. And um, yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to leave a like on the video, turn on post notifications, and comment anything you guys want to down in the comments below. And I will see you guys tomorrow for the sign-ups for Sign-Up Series 201.